Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. We are currently in the bedroom. Oh no. Look what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? I don't know what it is. Anyway. We are joined by four friends. As usual, well, not as usual, but. Just to say, this is going to be a new series. Um, you can see that down there as well. Just to prove. We are definitely in places. Do I wake him? He's <laughs> pretty much asleep. I guarantee you. Probably would have wake woken up by the time we finished this video. Anyway. We're going to talk about that now. We're going to talk about that now. We'll just stop there. <laughs> anyway. You'll be asking. What. What. Or is it. Is under. This. Bed sheet. And I mean. What is it. Cozy. 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 There's something that I've been wanting to do for a little while now, and it's turned into something quite big. So, let's get on to it. Let's do the big reveal, shall we? Three, two, one. Oh no, you don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to be revealed, do you? You want me to do, come up, do something else last minute. I'm joking. Three, two, one. Go, come on, let's go. I thought you would have guessed it. That's it. You're right. It is magazines and basically it's things like this: magazines, home magazine, subscriber edition, special edition, um, another special edition here. Uh, we've got little books, um, all about toy trains, and we've got ones ones here, um, all about setting up your model railway. It's like a plan book. By Pico, um, we've got an ordinary Hornby magazine here, um, back f dating back from December 2015. Um, you can actually see, you can, yeah, you can see that December 2015. You can see all oh, that's on the front there. Yeah, you can see the prices, bloody hell, the price. UK price has gone down. It used to cost me. It used to cost myself or a friend for the for one of these to buy. So to buy one of these horns magazines, it would have cost me. Let's get one of these out. I got loads of these. I keep on buying them and buying them and buying them. There you go. £3.95. That's... It's gone down. That's... That's what it used to be in June 2014. There you go. You can see it's a bit ripped because it's quite old. But put the, putting those two aside because they're old magazines... This is a yearbook back from 2017, which is, we're, we're zooming back up a few years now, but it's still not in date. 
This is a magazine yearbook. If you've got one of these, any of you lot, I would advise before you set up and plan your layout and think to yourself, right, it's it's all this is what I want, this is what I want to do, this is how I want to set it up. Look again. See if there's anything you're missing. See if there's anything you don't want. See if there's anything, any space you can save, anything that you can, any anything or any, any objects as such that you can simply just move out of the way that you don't need because there sometimes there can be some bits of rolling stock that just don't fit the scene and you go you go to yourself I don't I don't even know why I bought that why have I bought that I might as well sell sell it that's what I've done I've done that exactly that with um some old coaches I used to think that like red coaches like proper faded red coaches would fit the Caledonian tank engine scene very nicely but actually no they don't so I ended up selling a, a wad of those coaches about in about or oh, I bought for only ten pounds I bought a wad of about five coaches five coaches that's a lot of coaches for just ten pounds and they weren't the big coaches like those ones over there that, that big train over there they were small small four wheeled coaches and but I ended up buying new ones of the same kind but they weren't faded they weren't red they were blue. They were four wheeled, they were blue. And they looked a lot more like LNER versions. Not Great Western Railway, LNER. Because I can't really find the right sort of railways to fit, and not other railways, if that makes sense. Anyway. You always need to look at things you don't want to look at just to check and go to just to check and fit the fun the fun thing. You have to do that with everything. So put those aside. Um You're wondering what I'm doing. I am going to find this. Wow. Yes, you may look it. Wow. This is an observer's book. It holds blah, blah, blah. I'm hoping I won't lose that again. Just simply holds not model trains, but proper real pictures, black and white pictures, not, not mm, colour pictures, but proper black and white pictures, real steam locomotives. They work for different railways, and there are, there's information I can read. This is the K2 class, 61270. Oh no, pardon me, that was wrong. 6172 to 61794. 
I'm thinking of a different K2. <laughs> Sorry. I'm thinking of the, um, the one that had the longer but rounded boiler. But you won't have seen that because that is, yeah, that's a B2. You won't have seen that. Um, that's a different one. That's a, that's an experimental LNER locomotive. This is a great northern railway locomotive and I can read you the historical notes eight more K2s were added between 1931 and 1937 these being only 1912 K1 class engines reboilered with five foot six inch boilers in place of the original four foot eight inches inside numbers six one seven six four six one seven seven two six one seven seven four to five they I think that one that one there I just read maybe have changed at some point um so that one as well but you can still see it you look closely zoom in there we go. Anyway, but enough of these historical notes. This book is a good book because it also what it does is we if we scroll back to the front, you can also